guys, so in today's video I'm doing the TMI tag, which is the too much information tag. So I'm just going to read these questions and answer them for you guys. Question 1, what are you wearing? I'm just wearing this top, it's just a singlet top and I'm just wearing really daggy like tracky suit bottoms and my slippers with some socks because it's freezing cold today. So cold. Oh my gosh. Question 2, ever been in love? Yes, I have. I'm in love right now. Question three, ever had a terrible breakup? Um, I feel like every breakup in the moment is terrible. So I guess yes, but you know, you live and you learn and you learn to move on and what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Question four, how tall are you? I am 153 centimeters tall. So I'm not too sure what that converts to in foot, but it's not very tall at all. I'm fairly midget sized. Question 5. How much do you weigh? I actually haven't weighed myself in about three months or something. I don't really go by weight. I just go by how my clothes look and feel and yeah but the last time I weighed myself I think I was about 56 or 57 kilos. So yeah. Question 6. Any tattoos? Yes I have three tattoos. I have one can you guys see that? One on the back of my neck, just there. I have one on my hip, which is my star sign. And then I have, oh, that's a turtle here. So with my tattoos, the one on my neck is um, my own special memory of my pop who passed away four years ago. Um, my star sign is obviously my star sign someone on my hip and the turtle on my ribs was actually a cross and it was really badly done. I got it done when I was 17 which was a big mistake and so I had it covered up with a turtle because they're my favorite animal and yeah that's my tattoo. Question 7. Any piercings? I have my ears done in the first hole on both sides then on this right ear I have two earrings here halfway up my ear and I have my belly button pierced twice so on the top and the bottom and I used to have my nose pierced and I had my tongue pierced for about two days one time so yeah question 8 OTP my one true pairing is definitely Hannah and Caleb from Pretty Little Liars oh my gosh I just finished watching season 5 the finale and yeah I ha they're definitely my one true pairing question 9 favorite TV show um, Pretty Little Liars, but I also love Criminal Minds and McLeod's Daughters and yeah, that's probably my favourite shows at the moment. Question 10, favourite bands? Um, I really like country music, which I know not many people do, but I would probably say Lady Antebellum because the rest of the music I like is sort of just like one artist so they're not a whole band so if I had to choose just one band it would probably be yeah Lady Antebellum. Question 11 something you miss um I miss my poppy I miss living close to my family like we live two hours away now so I miss being able to have lunch with my nan on it Fridays which I used to do all the time and I just miss little things like that. Question 12. Favourite song? My favourite song at the moment, I don't know, that's a hard one. I have lots of favourite songs. Probably either Dirt by Florida Georgia Line or Bad Blood by Taylor Swift. I don't know, I can't choose one. Question 13. How old are you? I am 22 years old. Question 14, zodiac sign, I am an Aries. Question 15, quality you look for in a partner. Um, I just think someone who is kind to not only me but others as well and someone who has dreams and who has goals and who wants to work towards something just yeah I think that's the kind of qualities I look for. Question 16, favourite quote. Um, I'm a lover of quotes so this is hard but I think the quote I think of the most would be always do what you're afraid to do and I think that's by Oscar Wilde. Yeah I think that would be my favourite quote it just sort of 
helps me get out of my comfort zone a little bit like we it gets so stuck in day-to-day -day things and just doing the same things over and over again so reminding yourself that doing something that you're afraid to do is going to get you somewhere maybe even better so I think that's why it's my favorite quote question 17 favorite actor um I don't really have a favorite actor but my favorite actress is probably Probably Jennifer Lawrence. Question 18, favorite color. Um, I have a lot of favorite colors, but I think red, red is probably my most favorite color. Question 19, loud music or soft? Um, depends what mood I'm in. If I'm in the car and I'm like in a singing mood, I want it really loud, but the rest of the time I just like pretty soft music, I think. I get really bad headaches when I have like doof doof music in my ear, so yeah. Mmm, cold tea. Question 20, where do you go when you're sad? Um, it depends, but generally I'll just get in my car and I'll go to the grocery store and like just walk around and buy like ordinary things that I need because I find it helps me feel normal again because a lot of the time when I'm feeling sad I feel really alone so I guess maybe that's why I do that but yeah I either do that or I just go to bed and cry and sleep. Question 21 how long does it take you to shower? Well we rent the place we live in right now and it has a 50 litre hot water system So that basically means we get a five minute nice hot shower and then the water goes cold, takes 20 minutes to reheat and yeah, then you get another five minutes of hot water. So yeah, not very long. I can't shave my legs and wash my hair in the same shower. Let's just say that. 22, how long does it take you to get ready in the morning? I, like depends where I'm going, but if I'm just going to work on a normal day, um, I always give myself at least an hour and a half. And that's like to eat breakfast and have my coffee and get ready, get dressed, do my makeup and hair and get out the door. So yeah, I hate being rushed to go anywhere. So I always make sure I have a good amount of time in front of me. 23, ever been in a physical fight? Um, yes. Well, it wasn't like a full on fight, but basically, basically when I was, I don't know how old I was, maybe 18 or 19. I was at a house party and there was this nasty girl. She's not nasty anymore, like we have no bad blood, bad blood between us, but at the time she we did not like each other and she just kept taunting me, so I went over to her and I grabbed her by the top of the head and I tried to pull her over, but she swung around and grabbed me by my hair and I almost landed in the fire. So yes, someone had to pull me away and I had a big massive ring on and I had a clump of hair stuck in my ring. It was disgusting. So yeah, that's probably my only physical fight that I've been in and will ever be in. 24, turn on. Um, just being nice and being adventurous and wanting to do things and you know, stuff like that I guess. Question 25, turn off. Um, I think the biggest turn off for me would be someone who does drugs, like that's their life. I'm, I'm super opposed to any kind of drugs. So yes, that could be a whole nother video, but I think that's probably one of the biggest turn offs and people who just are really arrogant and rude and think they're all that when they're really not. Question 26, the reason I joined YouTube um, I joined YouTube because, well, I've been watching it for years and years and years and that's how I sort of learned to do makeup and I became a freelance makeup artist. I worked in a price line where I, people knew me to come in and get things done like that kind of thing. So yeah, I just wanted to have like my own creative space where I could, you know, film my makeup tutorials and film videos and upload them and that's like my own little space on the internet where I, you know, I think you guys will get what I mean, but 
you just want your own space where you can put all your creativity. So yeah, I think that's pretty much why I joined YouTube and I just want to make friends, like I just want to talk to people who have the same interests as me, so yeah. Question 27, fears. Um, my main fears are probably sharks, like I'm terrified of being mauled by a shark. Um, heights, like really, really high heights get me, make me feel uneasy. And I have a fear of being buried alive. So yeah, they're probably my biggest ones. 28, the last thing that made you cry. Um, I had a session with my therapist that uncovered a lot about why I am a certain way, why my brain thinks a certain way, so that got me really emotional. And yeah, that was the last reason I cried. I won't really get into it though. 29, the last time you said you loved someone. Um, either just before to my cat or this morning when I was saying goodbye to Matt as he went to work. Question 30, the meaning behind your YouTube name. It is just my name. Well, it's not my full name. My full name's Brianna, in case you guys didn't know. But yeah, it's just my name. Question 31, the last book you read. Um, I'm pretty hopeless with books. I buy them with good intentions. And I'll read like a quarter to half of a book and then I just get bored and I don't finish it. So honestly, I probably couldn't tell you the last book I actually completely read. The book you're currently reading. Um, well, I'm currently reading The Happiness Project, which is like a self-help kind of book. It's, I don't know, I'm not going to give you a synopsis, but yeah, it's a really good book. I'm just really lazy with reading and I just forget to do it and that kind of thing. And it's not like my favorite thing to do. So last show that you watched, Pretty Little Liars. 34, last person you talked to. Um, my cat. Well, she's not a person, but. So Matt, then my boyfriend. 35, the relationship between you and the last person you texted. Um, she's my acupuncturist. <laughs> I was making my appointment. Um, 36, favorite food. I love like, I'm a plain kind of girl. Like I don't like Indian exotic kinds of foods, which I know a lot of people absolutely love, but I'm just not. I just like a good, like chicken schnitzel and chips or Chinese or like steak or ribs or just like plain food. I'm not very exciting with my food. I don't branch out a lot. Question 37, the place you want to visit. Um, I really want to go on a Hawaii holiday, but like if money was no question, I would want to go to America and just travel around, like go to all the different states. And yeah, I would really, really love to go to America. And I also want to go to Europe, specifically London. So question 38, the last place you were, um, my lounge room. 39, do you have a crush? Yes, just on my boyfriend. 40, last time you kissed someone um, this morning. 41, last time you were insulted. Um, no one really insults me to my face. Like some people, I don't know, I get annoyed with people, like customers that come into work and they are just rude and say stupid things and I get a bit like, but no one really insults me to my face anymore now that I'm a grown up. 42, favourite flavour of sweet, um, probably just chocolate, I love chocolate. Question 43, what instruments do you play? I don't play any, I used to play guitar, I used to get guitar lessons and I thought it was really cool and the boy I liked used to play guitar so I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get on his side, but I don't play any instruments anymore. Favourite piece of jewellery, um, that would be my Thomas Sabo bracelet that I got for my 21st birthday and my ring here, this is a Lady Herkimer diamond ring and it's a handmade, like hand sculpted, completely recycled silver ring so Matt got me this for my 22nd birthday and I absolutely adore it, it's my favourite favourite ring, the lady who makes these rings her website is called Lunar Light, but I also know a um, a friend who lives over in Western Australia who also makes beautiful jewellery. So I might link both their sites down below if you guys are interested. Question 45. Last spot you played. 
last song you sang, um, probably that va that Charity Vance, Charity Vance, her song It's Alright, that's like stuck in my head. 47, favourite chat up line, um, I don't have one, really. Uh, 48, have you ever used it? No. Question 49, the last time you hung out with anyone? Um, I hung out with Matt and my mum and, I don't know, people at work. I'm not a big social person, so, yeah, they're probably the last people I hung out with. And question 50, who should answer these questions next? Anybody who wants to. Nobody asked me to answer them, but hey, here I am. I'm doing it. So, if you guys want to make this video I say go for it it's a good way for people to get to know a little bit more about you I think so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you did like it because that really helps me out lets me know what videos you do and don't like um, and leave any video suggestions down below for me if you have any and yeah um, I will see you guys in my next video bye